Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 6 for Occupational Safety and Health Project where we will discuss about roof works. My name is Iwan Manasuddin Mahabaruddin. I will talk about introduction. The introduction, project background. This report will focus on safety and health accident in roof works, where the roof working on roof can be hazardous because of it work at height. And health hazard also need to take in place because of the exposure of heat directly from sun, where this risk may affect up to the work ability of the workers that work during hot condition. OSHA officer must observe the entire working environment in order to identify the hazard and reduce the risk. Where And a risk assessment will be a great assistant in identifying and documenting this potential hazard, which was known, known as hazard identification, risk assessment, risk control, and it call it HIRA. For problem statement, there are new 20 units of 5-storey lecture room building in UTHM campus that will be constructed and it is crucial for the company to conduct a preliminary risk assessment before the beginning, the beginning of the project to reduce the possibility of hazard occurring on the work site while the project is ongoing. The re this report will, will discuss and prepare an appropriate risk control which can be reviewed at the hierarchy table and further discussion will be included in this report. For the objective, the objective first is to analyze any potential hazard that have occurred or likely to occur during construction site work. Uh, and secondly, is to determine the most critical safety and health safety during roofing work, including equipment tools, which will result in physical and mental harm to the affected workers. For the project scope, this project scope and limitation are solely focused on the roof works only, including equipment tools and construction site. The number of hazard that can be identified is only must be is limited to 10 and they must be must this this in which between safety hazard and at least three health hazards that cures the assessments was carried out in accordance with the hierarchy guidelines the analysis and discussion of hazards are based on the most important hazard for both type of hazard which are safety and health for the most critical type of hazards control means Control measures based on hierarchy of control are also proposed. So this is the flowchart of root works, where it starts from inspection and survey. Next, it following by setting up, inspection and concreting for roof beam, trusses construction, welding and bolting, hoisting roof materials, installing roof tiles, final inspection, and lastly is maintenance and cleaning. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amirul and today I will present about the analyze and estimate of risk. First, risk can be calculated by using the formula likelihood times severity. Likelihood is an event likely to occur within the specific period or in a specific circumstances. While severity is the outcome from an event such as severity of injury, or health of people or damage to property or insult to environment or any combination of those caused by the event. Uh, there are several types of risk. Firstly, risk can be divided into two. First is the health risk. Health risk can be divided into four subtopics which are chemical, exposed, likely exposed to carcinogen chemicals, synthesizer and corrosive chemical. Next is biological, exposed to airborne and bloodborne viruses, bacteria and fungus. Next is physical, exposed to a man-made hazard. And lastly is ergonomy, repeated exposure to unnatural posture and unnatural movement. For the next part of uh, type of risk is safety hazard. And the first uh, safety hazard is mechanical. It can come in terms of pitch point, sharp point and edges and overload usage of tools. Next is the electrical hazard uh, such as electrical cord insulation damage, electrical cover broken. Other than that is fire explosion as like, uh, like exposed to high temperature machineries and working near explosive. Lastly is confined spaces working in poor ventilation area. There are several uh, ways that we can control risk. Firstly is elimination, next is substitution, next is isolation, then is engineering control, then is administrative control and lastly is PPE or better known as personal protective equipment. Hello, today I will present about data analysis. 
for introduction, the hierarchy table tabulate the hazard identification, risk analysis, and risk control of the activity focusing the proof work. Uh, hazard identification will conclude work activity hazard and effect from hazard. The work activity at the roof work is identified as part of the assessment. Meanwhile, this analysis will conclude even likely to occur within the specific period or in specific circumstances, which is likelihood, outcome from an event such as severity of injury or health of people or damage to property or insult to environment or any combination of those caused by the event, which is severity and risk. Next is hazard and risk analysis. For what activity? Firstly, it is taking of material, which is hazard is improper staking, which is effect the minor injury due to falling material, uh, which is risk is medium. Uh, what activity second is setting roof inclination level or angle, the hazard working at high, and effect to person falling from high, which is risk is medium. Using crane to lift roof material crush, uh, which is hazard crush or struck by heavy load, which is effect fatal broken off body part, which is risk is high. Next is using pneumatic drill and vibrating machine. The hazard is constant hand arm vibration and the effect is tingling numbness and hand arm vibration syndrome, uh, which is, is medium. Next is work activity fixing and laying of roof tiles, gutter, and rainwater down pipe system, where the hazard is prison of glue and solvent which is effect the harmful, harmful on contact with the skin or eye or give of toxic fume and vapor. This risk is medium. Uh, next is installation of roof trusses together with the wire netting. Uh, the hazard is insecure trusses. The effect is major injury due to, to fallen trusses and the risk is medium. Next is using, using sewing machine to cut roof tile. The hazard is inhaling of concrete, silica, and wood dust, uh, which is uh, effect to lead to cancer, sinuses, and lung disease, which is the risk is high. And next is hosting of prefabricate timber truss, which is improper lifting technique, which is effect to injury due to struck by falling object, which is the risk is medium. And lastly is cutting wire netting and roof tile. The hazard is imposed to sharp metal part during repositioning and then the effect is cut on hand just the risk is low that's all thank you assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Izzalan Hakim and I will talk about this uh, discussion the first one is most critical safety hazard crash or struck by heavy load is the most critical safety hazard identified at this construction work workers can be crushed between two things such as trucks or a wall and a large box trapping them to the ground. If a person extremities cannot be released in time, it may have to be amputated. This danger can arise because of the employment of a crane to lift and unload material such as steel construction. This hazard is caused by the state of the machinery, how is it operated and the person operating the crane. The person in charge of the machinery is also inept and has not had adequate training, increasing the risk. The impact of safety on employees can lead to broken bones and in the worst case scenario, death. The severity and likelihood are both evaluated as 5 and 3. The, li the likelihood is considerable, indicating that it may occur at some time in the future, but the impact is dis disastrous, indicating that the severity of the hazard is regarded cas catastrophic. The second one is most critical health hazard. With a risk rate of 15 and a high classification, inhaling concrete, wood dust and silica dust are the most significant health concern in high drug table. These components are unique in that they may be taken away by draft. Their origin differ. They may include infectious particles that can cause serious, permanent and sometimes deadly illness. People exposed to their occupational context inhale the most wood dust. The most dangerous condition is nasal cavity or face sinus sarcinoma which is nasal sinus cancer. This hazard is caused by a few activities including the usage of sewing machine like a circular saw or a wood cutting machine. The severity level of this hazard is at 3, indicating that it is serious and may result in non-fatal harm but a lifelong disability. Meanwhile, the hazard likelihood rating is 5, indicating that the danger is most likely to occur because of no existing control at the building site. High, con high concentration and prolonged inhalation of cement dust can provoke clinical symptoms and inflammatory response that may result in functional and structural abnormalities. 
Lastly, control measure for, for critical hazard. Managing health and safety risk entail four steps which is identifying hazard, assessing risk, controlling risk and reviewing the process. The outcome of the evaluation process will decide whether any change to the control method used are required. Most serious health hazard that might arise is excessive inhalation of particles into the worker's body, notably wood and silica dust, during the activity of cutting wood, bring and roof tile. This hazard which is rated as high have control measure which is providing PPE such as FFP3 disposable mask or a half mask with P3 filter and do not cut the tiles on the roof but in designated stable areas set up for this purpose with appropriate local exhaust ventilation or extraction available. On the other hand, the most critical safety hazard is crushed or struck by heavy load that can cause a serious injury or death and there are some of control measures for this hazard which is allow only trained and competent person to operate the plant, do regular inspection. Next is the conclusion. In a nutshell, data collection, analysis and classification of the contributing factors that cause an accident or incident can be used to identify workplace hazards. Next, an, an action that will assist in formulating the recommendation and identifying the control measures must be taken. As a result, an accident investigation is required to identify all factors that contribute and stop any potential workplace accidents. That's all from our group. Thank you.